Hey YouTube, how's it going? Chaos Emperor Dragons here, bringing you the latest set, the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection. Uh, really excited about this set, loads of different reprints, loads of different rarities, stuff that hasn't even come in high rarity before, like Ash Blossom, you can go, you can get it in the quarter century, the new Pasmitic, Pasmitic, ah, Pasmatic uh, Secret Rare, uh, you've got the Ultimate Rare, which is a bit different to the Ultimate Rares that we normally get. And you've got the collector's rare as well and the super rare. So there's a lot in here. Really great set. Um, just before I dive into the boxes, the box themselves actually have like embroidery on it. It actually feels like an ultimate rare itself, which actually feels quite nice. I don't think many people will keep the box, but it's just, there's actually quite a nice element to it. It's got a nice little display to it. But let's dive straight in. Here we go. We can see the packs. Um, obviously this is quite new for the TCG, this is not something we normally preview to, I think they normally get it in every set where they can get a card in multiple rarities, but this is kind of the first time for us, so I'll just put those there and let's dive in. Uh, so yeah, five cards per pack, you can get two super rares, an ultra rare, and then kind of like luxury rare. So our first card is Tour Guide from the Underworld actually feels like a nice reprint we've got Dingriasu and then our first ultra rare is love oh no it's a secret rare, a lava golem okay that's nice and then we have an ultra rare in compulse and then another ultra rare in chaos space so yeah you can get supers ultras and then secret ultimate or collectors or quarter century so there's a lot <laughs> um so let's get through okay next pack okay first one is dimensional barrier then we get artifact lancia oh we've got something there's a 25th anniversary it's ash blossom <laughs> i think this is the most expensive card in the set Go for about three, four hundred pound at the moment on eBay. I think I saw a crazy one go for about five hundred. So yes, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's a great pull. Are we only second pack in? So yeah, uh, leave that there. Uh, okay, we have an ultra rare in low flyer bossum. Uh, where do we put the ultra rares? somewhere and we've got a collector no is this ultimate rare change of heart yeah i think this is an ultimate change of heart oh that actually looks really nice i just can't get over that ash blossom that looks amazing <laughs> oh my god second pack in and pull the most expensive card in the set that is amazing you see the 25th emblem on it as well oh that's beautiful we will get some sleeves for all this stuff in a bit Let's go through. Okay. Next pack. <laughs> We're already crazy. Another Ash Blossom. Super rare. Lovely. Uh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Super rare. And then we've got a Cherubini. Is this secret or is this prismatic secret? I think this is the prismatic secret because you can see it on the borders. And the lettering is a bit different as well. It's like Starfoil lettering. So nice. And then we have an Ancient Fairy Dragon. That's a standard Ultra. And then we have a Dogmatica Punishment as well as an Ultra. Nice. Okay, this is a definitely very good start. Uh, definitely very good return on investment for me. Um, okay, next pack. Okay, Super Rare Lone Fire Bottom. Super Rare Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. And then we've got a pre prep right Secret Rare. Yeah, this is a normal Secret Rare. And then we've got a, is this, yeah, this is an ultimate rare wind charmer. Very nice. We'll put that change of heart. And then we've got another ultimate rare or collector's rare. Oh, these are so hard to tell. No, this is the ultimate rare Mech Knight Crusadia. So it's a bit hard to tell, but the way you can tell is that the background is foil as well. Whereas in the collective Zoe, it won't be. And this will be in different shades rather than just the one. So, okay. Next pack. 
Okay, we've got Red Eyes Metal Fur Dragon, Vision Hero Ferris, we've got a Quarter Century Wind Chandler, and we've got an Ultimate Rare as well. So that's already two QCRs already. We've got Infant Pedis Ultra Rare and then an Ultra Rare Ice Barrier. Okay. So I think from what I understand about ratios, you get about roughly three QCRs per box, roughly. Um, but let's test and see. So Pop Extravagant Super, Magicalized Fusion, and then I think, yeah, this is a secret rare, Elder Energy Entis, nice. Nadir Servant Ultra Rare, and then another, no, this is a collector's rare of Magicalized Fusion. Or is it an Ultra Rare? I just... Oh, these are actually so hard to tell the difference. But look, like, you see on the bordering, you can see it's different shades. So you can actually see like the triangles and stuff. So I think this leads me more to believe it a collector's rare than say this, which is an ultimate rare. Yeah, you can see the difference. So I think this is a collector's rare. I'll put that there. Next pack. Okay, we've got Spellbook of Judgment. Junk Speeder, and then we've got Time Free for Dura as a secret rare, and then we've got a Summer Limit and a Predator Plant Disturbia Ultra Rares. Okay, so thoughts on this set? Great set. If you're a budget player, pick up some packs, you're bound to pick up some sort of value. It's actually really good, and obviously, you will get staples. So, uh, Reinforcement of the Army. Form of Albaz, Iris Sword Soul Secret Rare, nice. Um, we've got Inspector Border Ultra Rare, and then Ghost Tricks Angel of Mystery for Ultra Rare. Um, yeah, like if you can find this in your local store, I definitely recommend just picking up as what you can, and you're bound to pull some value or even stuff like this. So Super Rare Tactics. Which is amazing, like even for singles wise, like the super res should will be quite cheap, so you can actually get really good staples. Uh number one hundred dragon, good OTK. Alpha, Master of the Beast. That's a secret rare. Oh, and then we've got a downed magician as a cut ultimate rare, I wanna say. And then a Dingresu, the honest as an ultra. Rare. Is this an ultra? Rare? Yeah, you can kind of feel the embossed on it, but oh, there you go. You can kind of see a bit more with the angle. Next pack. Nadir Servant Super Rare. Harpy's Feather Storm. We've got Reasoning as a secret rare. Evening Match Ultra Rare. Great reprint. And uh, Bowler Savage as an ultra. Two very good reprints and much needed. Okay, next pack. Uh, Black Wing, Simone the Poison Wing, super rare. Striker Dragon, super rare. Spellbook of Judgment as a secret. And we've got Alpha as an ultra. And Dimensional Barrier as an ultra as well. Nice. Okay, last pack for the right hand side. Um, so if you think there's mapping and stuff, this is the UK boxes. You can look for the right hand side for apparently two CRs. Okay, Deco Talker Super Rare, Dogmanica Punishment, Fairy Tale Luna as a secret, Egyptian God Slime as an ultra, much needed, and Cyber Benton as an ultra as well. Nice. Okay, moving on to the left-hand side of the box now. Okay, that is Abyss Dra Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Magician Salvation. Oh, we got a quarter century Ice Barrier. Not the best one, but you know what? I'll take it. it actually looks really nice. Um, yeah. Bit hard. There you go. You can see the 25th there. But yeah, that is nice. Uh, change of heart ultra rare and oh a collector's rare 
pulled by the grave. That looks really nice. And as a one of, that's a really nice one of. Okay. Next pack. And so if I'm to believe the ratios, that's our quarter centuries for this box. Uh, Artemis as a super. Uh, another tour guide as a super. Uh, Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief as a secret. Uh, number 100 dragon as an ultimate rare. And a collector's rare? Yeah, collector's rare, Elder Entientis. Is this a collector's rare as well? Yeah, you can sell from the borders. Are two collectors rare in one box, one pack? Nice. Okay. And we've got Alpha, Master of Beasts. Card entry super, Angel Ben 10 as a secret, Lone Farm Blossom as an ultra, and reinforcements of the army as well. Nice. Okay, we've got Lava Golem, got Selene, really good in the recent YCS for the Exodia. We've got Compulse as a secret, Artemis as an ultra rare. And Dimension Shifter. Good one. Okay, we've got Ecclesia, the Super Eye. Tri Brigade Revolt. Magician Salvation as a secret. Compulse as an Ultra. And we've got Summon Limit as a Ultimate Rare. Yeah. Nice. Okay, next pack. We've got uh, Artemis as another super. Yeah. Vision Ferris as a super. We've got Herald of Arclight as a secret. Nice. Dino Magician as an ultra and Ice Barrier as an ultra. Is there a particular card I'm looking for? Probably Baron. I'd really like Baron in a nice secret or QCR would be really nice. Uh, Compulse Super. Iris Saltor is a super. Cold Turk. Cold. Eh, Code Talker Inverted as a secret row. Uh, Effect Raider. Nice. And Celine. Two Ultra Rares. Okay, next pack. Dimensional Barriers, Super, Inspective Order, Ghost Trick, Angel Mischief. Ah, oh, I think this is the Prismatic Secret Rare, or the Parallel One, whatever they're calling it. So that's nice. You can see with the border and the naming. So we haven't actually pulled one of those. Um, Ultra Rare Tour Guide, and another Collector's Rare Down and Magician. Or did I get the Ultimate One? Either way, another one. We've got a Cool by Super, Black Simone, Mars Hero Dark Law as a secret ray. Probably much needed reprint. Uh, win the Challenger as the Ultra, and another reinforcement army as an Ultra Ray. Okay, we're down to three packs for my first box. Okay, we've got Chaos Space, Change of Heart, and then our secret is Inspector Border. And then we've got Old Lich the God Lord, the alternate art, which looks amazing. And then we've got Mars Hero Dark Law as an ultra. Okay, two packs. Okay, number 100 as a super. Oh, Sophia mode. Ah, oh, great. Alternate art, Nightmare Unicorn. That looks gorgeous. Much needed. That looks lovely. Uh, we've got a ultimate rare Ecclesia. Nice. And then we've got an ultra rare Galaxy Eyes Afterglow. Okay, last pack from the first box. Old Lich and Old Lord Super Rare. Inspector Order. Fossil Dig is our super. 
Then we've got Tri-Brigade Revolt as our Ultra and Iris Sword Soul as an Ultra as well. Okay, bit of clean up, the next box. Hey, back, bit of clean up. So I thought I'll pull out all the higher rarity stuff so you can kind of see what you get from one box. So if you decide to buy a box or not. So you get three quarter centuries and I think that's pretty consistent what we've seen on like influencers videos as well. Uh, you've got three prismatic secret rares. So almost as rare as the quarter century. So that's actually quite interesting. Then you get five collectors rare. And then I've got six alternate rares. So looked again, a bit more calmly. You can tell the difference. So the alternate rares have the gold writing still. And then the foil is all, the background's all foil. So you can see it. And then with the collectors rare, the foil is almost like um, glittered style. So like a bit starry. So if I hold that up, you can kind of see the background is a bit more starry. The lettering still all silver. And then you've got that kind of shaded style to the edges as well. So that is the collector's rare. And then for the ultra rare, so if I pick an XYZ as well. So we've got the downward in both. So you can see it's got the gold writing. The whole edge is, the whole background is foil. And then it's got the full edges, but it's like clean rather than shaded. So your preference of what you think probably looks better. Uh, if we take one of the prismatic secret rares, so you can see you've got the shattered kind of foiling on the lettering. And then on the actual cover on the arts, the border is secret as well, which normally you wouldn't get. So got a normal secret rare here. Actually, I'll pick a different one, sorry, because of the sleeve. There you go. So you've got normal secret rare. So you can see this has got the glints. This is just clean. Then the border itself is just normal. Whereas the border on here, you can kind of see the lines going through them. So that's the difference between them. But it looks like they're almost as rare as the quarter century. So maybe that's something to consider if you're buying your singles and you're wondering which one's worth more or why. This is the reason why and then obviously you've got your quarter centuries which you've seen in more recent sets and here is the most sought after card still can't believe i packed that so that is insane so yeah that's that uh so let's get into the second box and see what we can pull this time i'll leave the ash there because that is the one everyone wants to see <laughs> okay second box um, I'll leave it there so it's out of the way. As I said, the box itself actually feels quite nice. Like, considering I think how many boosters boxes I've opened, like the box always feels a bit cheap. But this has actually got like the foiling to it. It almost actually feels like an ultimate rare itself. So I probably recommend you actually keep these because they're actually quite nice. Anyway, so let's pull out the packs. Move that out of the way. And let's get stuck in. All right, pack one. Um, to be honest, there's so much great stuff in the set. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'll just happily take whatever I get. So, Super Lone Fire, Super Ecclesia, and then we've got a Secret uh, Deco Talker, Heat Soul. Actually looks really nice. The first secret. And then we've got Iris Sword Soul, Ultra rare. And then we've got a collector's rare. Ghost Angel Mischief. Nice. Put that there. Supers and Ultras. I'll just kind of move out of the way. Okay. Let's go. Oh, and in terms of secrets from that box, the first box, I've got 17 secrets, I believe. So that's kind of how that uh, uh, Galaxy Afterglow. Vision Ferris. We've got a secret rare galaxy full armor. Nice. And then we've got an ultra dingusi and an evening match as well. Okay, that's two evening matches I've got so far. Almost got a play set. Nice. Next pack. Yeah, this is quite an insane set. I'm probably gonna try and pick up more. Uh, Imperm. Super rare, obviously 
really good still. Uh, dimensional Barrier. And then we've got a Secret Rare Lava Golem. I think that's actually my second one. That's nice. Uh, Ultra Rare Alpha. And Wind Dragon Mode Sphere Mode. Nice. As an Ultra Rare. That's pretty good. Okay, next pack. Yeah, uh, oh, that was actually quite interesting. My first box, I saw no Barons in any rarity, which is quite interesting. Um, so, Dogmatic Ecclesia. And I think I only got one Triple Tactics. I think you saw something there. Uh, Simone as a super rare. Then we got Rights, P Prep Rights as a secret. Put that there. And then we've got uh, Ultimate Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon. Nice, very good one of. And then I've also got just an ultra rare Egyptian God Slide. Nice. So ultra rare, collector's rare, secrets, and then QCR if we get any more. We should do, but let's see. Okay, next pack. Uh, Super Galaxy Eyes. Oh, gravity there. New one, Dragon. Uh, secret rare, Elder Entiantus. And then we've got an ultra rare reasoning and an ultra rare change of heart. Okay. Next pack. Okay. Oh, there you go. Talking about Baron. Our super rare Baron. Nice. I'm going to keep him to the side because he's a really good card. Uh, Inspector Border. Oh. Uh, prismatic. Pedoplant Dystopia, very nice indeed, and useful, you know, very played card. Uh, then we've got an Ultra Rare Nightmare Unicorn, and we've got a Ultimate Rare Magician Salvation. So you've got two Luxurious if on one pack, which is quite insane. So that's the other thing with these packs, you can get like multiple Luxuries in one pack, so I think you can get two, potentially three, all in one pack, which is just insane. So, yeah, these packs are just insane. And as I said, I don't think the TCGs have seen anything like this before. Uh, Mars Hero Dark Law. Lightning Storm. We didn't see that before either, so I'll probably keep that to the side. Uh, Time Free Fridura as a secret. Reinforcement Army as an ultra. And Pot of Prosperity as an ultra. This is an amazing card. So, some definitely more impactful pulls, should I say, from these cards. Like, these are much more probably sought after. So, you know, even though they're in lower rarities, they'll still go. And, you know, great for budget players and stuff. Um, okay, Super Rare Fallen of Nabaz. Uh, Mech Knight Crusadia. Ah, we've got a Prismatic Secret Rare of the. Dogmatic for Punishment. I know I keep saying Prismatic Secret Rare, but like it's probably Parallel Secret Rare or something like that, but that's just what I'm calling it for now. But yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. We've got Dimension Shifter and Win. Okay. All right, we're already running out of space. Uh, I'll put these cards here because they're the power cards. I'll put QCR there. And I'll kind of put this down here because it's like a, almost as rare, so we won't get as many of these styles. Okay, next one. It's actually quite nice though, like it's just slightly different from the secret rare, but it's like really shiny still. Um, okay, Ghost Bell and Horton Mansion is a super. Um, Magicalized Fusion. Uh, secret Iris Sword Soul. Down a Magician Ultra Rare and oh, an Ash Blossom Collector's Rare. Nice. So this will probably be quite sought after as well. Very nice indeed. Let me put that there. Good packs. So even though the last box was really good because of the QCR Ash Blossom, this already kind of feels better a little bit just because of the type of cards we're pulling. Even though they're not maybe in as higher rarities, but you know, this set is just insane. <laughs> uh, Mud Dragon, uh, Super Cherubini, then we've got Alpha, Master Beast as Secret Rare, then we've got Lone Fire Os Blossom as our Ultra, and our next Ultra is Effect Railer. 
Nice. Okay, I think we've got two packs left of this right hand side. Okay, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Shadol's Schism, Reasoning as our secret. Oh, we've got two collectors there Wind and Ice Barrier. Okay, two for one pack. You know, can't say, can't complain about that. And that's what I mean. Like, you can get multiple good stuff on one pack, which is just a bit insane. Um, still got two QCRs to find and two of the other Secret Rare style. Uh, Ice Dragon Prison, nice reprint, summon limit. Uh, Fairy Tail Luna, have you really seen one of those? Infinite Permits as an Ultra Rare and Tour Guide from the Underworld as an Ultra Rare. Okay, cool. And it's great, like, obviously, everyone will be looking for the entire rarity stuff, but all the Ultra Rares and Super Rares will be. Hopefully, like dirt cheap, so get some really good stuff. Uh, Tribrigade Revolt, Small World, haven't seen that yet, that's good. Uh, Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief is our secret. Uh, Summon Limit is our ultra, and Reinforcement our Army is our ultra as well. Okay, next pack. Okay, we've got Celine. Ferret Hall Luna, Harpy's Featherstorm. Oh, that looks really nice. I guess uh, Flunderese players will be eating happy. We'll take that. Uh, Ghost Chief, uh, Ghost Tricks, Angel of Mischief, and Master of Dark Lord. Nice. Oh, that um, Harpy's Featherstorm just looks insane. Just imagine getting that flip on you during a match. Will you be still angry, or will you just be like, oh, so very shiny floodgate. Uh, okay, uh, Age of Fairy Dragon, uh, Win the Channeler, uh, Cyber Age or Ben 10, Secret Rare, uh, we've got Bowler Savage, and oh, Collector's Rare Nadir Servant. That looks really nice. Don't think it's seen as much play lately, but that is quite nice. I don't mind a play set of those. Okay, next pack. Okay, we've got Effect Trailer. Cyber Angel Ben 10. Super. Hey! Barrow de Floor. Oh, great. As the parallel secret, wherever it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. It's even on the lower border. Oh, amazing. Okay, I'm very happy. And I'm going to be keeping that and playing that in my deck. Uh, amazing. So, uh, Tropical Revolt as an Ultra and Dimensional Barrier as an Ultra as well. Oh, that's lovely. I am a happy man. I'm eating well. Got the Baron and Ash Blossoms. Okay, Alpha Master of the Beast, super. Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief as our super rare. Uh, Compulse as our secret. Uh, Dark Ruler No More, ultra rare. And Cyber Angel Ben 10 as our ultra rare as well. Okay. Yeah, I think that is really good. That Baron is so nice. Uh, okay, Herald of the Arclight, super. Ice Barrier, super. Magician Salvation as our secret. <laughs> Baron de Floor as an ultimate rare. <laughs> oh, and Dogmatic Ecclesia as an ultra. Oh, that's lovely. So I think we pulled a super Baron, the parallel secret, and an ultimate. That is beautiful. If we get the QCR, oh my god. And we've still got one QCR to pull. It could happen. It could. I doubt it, but you never. <laughs> you can only hope, right? <laughs> you can only hope. Okay, uh, Fossil Dig, Super Rare. Pre-Pet, Super Rare. Uh, Harold Arclight, Secret. 
Lone Fine Blossom Ultra and Nibiru as an Ultra. I think that's our first nib. Wow. That's crazy. Two boxes in and we're still seeing cards we haven't seen before. Okay, next pack. Come on, QCR Baron. Uh, Danger Jackalope, Super Rare. Compulse. Code Hawk Inverted as a secret. Artemis as an Ultra and Fossil Dig as an Ultimate. Nice. Okay. So yeah, we're still looking for one QCR, one of the other secrets. Then we've already pulled five of the collectors rare and four of the ultimates. So I think there's two more ultimates. I think we're done with the collectors. So okay, these packs should be interesting. There's only four packs, including this one. Okay, let's see. Evenly matched, super rare. Amazing. Predaplant Disciple, super. Mars Hero Dark Law as a secret. Tribe Gave Revolt as an ultra. And Compulse as an ultra. Okay, three packs left. Come on, what are we going to get? Okay, Ice Barrier, super. Pre Prep, super. Oh, it's a QCR. Ah, uh, it's an effect though. 16, 1800, what is that? I can't remember. Let's see. Vision Hero Ferris as a QCR. Oh, uh, well, it's not a Baron, but still, it looks nice. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> um, okay. Chaos Space, Chaos Space as an Ultra, and then Ice Barrier as an Ultra as well. Okay, so I've got our three QCRs. The Predator Plant looks amazing. As that is the Harpy, so. Okay, not complaining too much. I'll take it. The Baron still kind of takes it from me, so I'm happy with that. And obviously I did pull the Ash Blossom. <laughs> uh, Not be Unicorn Ultimate, uh, Alternate Rare. Nice, super. Uh, Dimension Shifner, super. Summon Limit as our Pismatic or Parallel Secret, wherever it is. Okay, so that's the... Three of them now. Lightning Storm as an Ultra. Okay, nice. We'll keep that to the side. And Cold Talker Inverted as our Collector's Rare. Okay, cool. So there was another Collector's Rare. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, last pack. Uh, potentially Ultimate Rares in there. So let's see. Uh, would I buy more of this product? 100% yes. Because this is just a crazy product. Uh, super rare call by super rare red eyes metal flare secret inspect border ultra Celine <gasps> and an ultra ash blossom nice so I think we've pulled ash blossom almost in everything so nice I think that's kind of fitting that's our last card considering this is one of our first um but yeah that's the two boxes i hope you really enjoyed that i really did <laughs> really happy with all that um it's an amazing set i'd recommend definitely go and picking up some packs if not buying a booster box if you're able to um this set looks amazing like that ash blossom looks really great the baron looks particularly amazing and i'm really happy with that that's probably these two are definitely my most happiest pulls, so I'm very happy with those. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you are still watching at this point, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.